Hello, my name is Lloyd Ross, and welcome to my YouTube channel where money buys happiness. This particular um, clip I'm going to do for you is actually all around the three phases of money. Okay, the three phases of money. So, what are the three phases of money? Let's go through them together. Okay, pull out my doodle pad here. It's going to be this thing. Pull out my doodle pad. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go through three phases of money. One, two, three. Have you noticed things are easy as one, two, three? ABC. This is how the brain learns anyway. Three, three things. You can't really understand or learn more than three things quickly or remember them, which is why I like working in three things. So here we go. The three phases of money. Phase number one is where your money covers your clothes, shelter, food, water, um, you know, basics, basic necessities. Okay needs all right i would even say things like petrol uh, i mean they're, they're necessities okay so basically it's necessities right so i'm going to just have a little race here. i'll just do that for you so you can see nice and simply phase one of wealth is really all about just covering necessities okay phase one do you have enough to cover your necessities okay, i'm going to try and spell necessities here necessities that's it Okay. Now, a lot of people can't do that. All right. They can't. So, what happens is they go on welfare. All right. Thankfully, in some countries, we have a welfare system, but others don't. And it's a very powerful motivator to work hard. Okay. We, we don't have it in some countries, but welfare is what happens when you go on welfare. You can't do this. So, you haven't actually created phase one yet if you're on welfare. Now, the idea is if you're on, you get off. Okay. So, phase one is to cover necessities. Phase two of wealth. Okay, phase two of wealth is when you have uh, not only covered it enough of your necessities, but you've actually got more money than your necessities. Okay, so you've actually got what we call surplus cash flow. Okay, so necessities. Okay, it's where your necessities are paid. Tick. And you've got what we call free cash flow. Free cash flow. So people in phase one, when they achieve that phase, they actually are living paycheck to paycheck. So if you've just hit, if you've mastered phase one, money comes in, goes back and pays that, money goes out, and then it repeats. Okay, you living paycheck to paycheck. You're in the rat race there, right? You're still in the rat race here too, necessarily, but. Um, you earn more money than you need. So it's covering your necessities and you've got what we call some free cash flow. You get some free cash left over, okay? That you can just start to do things like invest that free cash flow, okay? You're earning more than you need to, all right? You are providing more value to the world than you're taking, all right? And that's how wealth is created, all right? So this, these people can cover their necessities plus have some free cash flow left over, all right? Phase two. Now, phase three is the wealth phase. Okay, it's the final phase, really. Well, I guess you could say phase four is, is, is philanthropy where you just give it all away. But phase three is really where your, your passive income, your investments that you made with your free cash flow in your assets, be it in real estate, or shares, or whatever it might be that you've invested in. Hopefully it's one of these two. Okay, that's my picture for shares. That the money coming from those assets that you've invested in with your free cash flow actually pays for your necessities, which means if you start working tomorrow, if you start working tomorrow, your necessities are still covered. So your passive income from your assets is covering your necessities, which means you have infinite wealth, which means you can actually continue to live your current lifestyle without working another day in your life, okay? That is, it popped up there on my screen, that, is phase three of wealth. And that's really where everyone wants to, well, I imagine everyone wants to be there, but maybe they don't want it bad enough because they don't put things in place to get there. If there was ever going to be a phase four, it would be you've got so much wealth for your passive income, not only covers your necessities, you've still got free cash flow beyond that and you use that cash flow to give it away. Okay, you give it to charity, you give it to philanthropy causes, and that would be phase four of money. Okay, but for the time being, I think the first stage is to certainly get to a point where you're on the path to phase three, which means certainly cover your necessities, but 
with watching some of my other stuff and working, you know, with some of my things I've done, hopefully you're getting some free cash flow and then you can invest it. And that's what's moving you to phase three, which is financial independence. All right. So the other three phases of money, hope that's been very powerful for you. And you're on the path to phase three. Uh, and if you haven't already, shoot me a follow on Instagram. It's Lloyd James Ross. You'll see it in the banner. And of course, uh, there's some information in the uh, description as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next YouTube clip.